Hey guys, welcome to the pilot of our new YouTube show, Nerd Cave Reacts. We're going to be doing this every Tuesday. It's going to be an exclusive video with a topic that happened over this past week. And obviously, The Legend of Zelda is rumored to be coming to Netflix. Exactly. Yes, definitely. Oh yes, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> if you've listened to our newest episode, you get that. So, the rumor is that Netflix wants to do a Legend of Zelda series. They're currently looking for a writer. I'll do it. You would ruin it. No, you, I, I would be perfect for it. I you, know. Would, you would do it just to spite me. So you would be no. like Fox doing an Aragon book. <laughs> I have no idea what Aragon's about, but let's just make the movie. And it's <laughs> the, the, they're like, poo. all right, here are the games you can play them to get the story, but I don't need that <laughs> crap. Zelda's the main character, right? The one with the blonde hair that looks like an elf. What's funny is you're pretty accurate. I was about to say, that. yeah. Like, yeah you're, that's not inaccurate. With the green and the sword. Ah, yes. Yeah. 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 That's the main character. It's yeah. not Zelda, though. It's it's Link. Oh, yeah. okay. But anyway, what, what, in, in all seriousness, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. In all seriousness, what, what do you guys think of this? I'm, I'm excited for it. I've been a Zelda fan for ages. Ages. Many, many moons. Many moons. Many moons. Many moons. Many moons. But, um, you know, all the video of the movies, shows that uh, Netflix has put out has been pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree. Netflix has hit it out of the park every show that they've done. House of Cards, huge. Marco Polo, huge. Orange is the New Black. Everything they do is on top of their game. And I don't think we necessarily have to worry about production value, which could be a hindering problem if it was made by another company. Yeah. Netflix pours tons of money into their properties. Look at Daredevil. Daredevil looks like it's going to be really Daredevil easy. looks fantastic. Exactly. So you, you're not going to have to... I watch Marco Polo. And I have a kind of... I kind of am going to compare the, the, the Zelda to the Marco Polo. They went back <coughs> to that time frame and made all of this armor and all of these... For these people, they didn't do CGI for it. They did actual sets yeah. for Marco Polo, and they are huge sets. So I think we don't have to worry about them creating Hyrule. It's going to look real if mm -hmm. they do it, if this, if this occurs. Um, one thing you're going to have to worry about is Nintendo, though. Well, They're I was going to get to that. Nintendo has a history of being very very conservative Protective. with their properties. They do not let them out. But, Especially after the Mario movie. <laughs> but I think because of the position they're in, mm -hmm. they're they, so far behind Sony and Microsoft, they have to, do they have to take risks. Yeah. And what is the one Risky property business. that would make the most sense and would be the best, You know, whether it be Netflix or a movie? Yeah. It's Zelda. Yeah, exactly. And everybody knows what Zelda is. Yeah. Even if you don't play the games, you've at least heard of it because it's been around for, you know, it's been around since the mid '80s. Exactly. And it's a rumor, and I could see the possibility of Nintendo getting cold feet and pulling the plug on this. Yeah, which would but be I, tragic. But I don't think they will. I do think this is going to happen, mm -hmm. and when it does, you are going to have Zach-like geek outs. On my part, I, I, I will be excited for it. I'm going to say this right now: if it happens, if it happens, you will see something bigger than Game of Thrones. Just that, that's that's a bold statement, especially coming from you. Just because Legend of Zelda is so big, you have this whole community that has played the games. Mm -hmm. You have the rest of the community that you know your PS your PlayStation players and your Xbox that haven't played Zelda, this is an entry port for them into that story. And then you have people that don't even play video games, but they live on Netflix or they live on YouTube. It's a way to get into something. To reach a bunch of people. And that's, if Nintendo wants to market their stuff, that's the perfect way. Oh, yeah. Here's a show. Then, you know what they do the next Zelda game? They build it around that show. What's going on in that? Well, I'm personally hoping that the show is an adaption of one of the mm -hmm. games. I mean, it's easy to say just adapt Ocarina of Time, yeah. which that's the route I think they should go because it's the most recognizable game and to me has the yeah. best story. The only thing is 
Me personally, I would make some slight changes to it. It may not be the most popular opinion because when Link starts out in the game, he's Young. a kid. Yeah. I would still keep him as a kid, but I would make him a little bit older. Yeah. Because in the game, he's 10. And then he falls asleep, cobwebs, he wakes up. And when he wakes up, he's 17. Exactly. I would, you, have, you I can... would, have, I would have him be you know, 12 or 13. Yeah. I think that would be a little bit more believable. And then when he awakens, he's in his early 20s. Yeah, I could see that. Um, it, it wouldn't be that hard because it's in the game. It's already yeah. there, you know, yeah. and whatever. People There's get, so many games you could adapt. You can get over the, oh, he falls asleep and then somehow he doesn't starve to death. Well, I mean, he's basically kept in stasis for okay. seven years because okay. whenever he pulls out the Master Sword... He's deemed, you know, he's the hero of time, but he's not ready to be the hero. Yeah, so he's okay. put in stasis for seven years until he's old enough to be able to take the mantle. Okay, all right. Well, that makes so sense. There, there's, yeah, there's a way that they can work it all in. But you know who should play Ganondorf? Ganondorf? Who? Ben Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was going to bring it back, but he did it. That would have... That would happen just to spite me. So Zach would get some kind of small victory. I would be riding it and be like, you know who we need for Ganondorf? Ganondorf? Ganondorf. <laughs> Remember that episode? <laughs> uh, I, was, I was yelling at you through my phone. I'm like, it's Ganondorf. <laughs> yeah, I would be like, we need Vin Diesel on this. Straight up. You know who I don't think would be a terrible choice? Who? Look-wise, The Rock. Yeah. You totally could have got me Dave Thomas Fowler when you tried Because I was like, who? And I was like, no! Not the first one that I get. <laughs> like I said, uh, I was, I was just like, I was like don't, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. <laughs> no, I, I never remember that game. So. <laughs> Johnny Depp should also play Link. I, I don't know really who would play who. I mean, I, I I'm, I'm kind I of half perfect. kidding when I say The Rock, but I mean, I think look-wise, he could pull yeah, off I Ganondorf. See that. But I, I got it for Link. Everybody will love this that's watched Game of Thrones. Joffrey. I've never watched Game of Thrones, so... Or Bieber. Justin Bieber. No, Joffrey's like the most hated person out of Game of Thrones. He <laughs> really has blonde hair. He does have that. He has look. the build for, uh, for a Link. Yeah. That's honestly something I would have to really sit down and think, you know, who would I want... To play Link, because th yep. this there's not too many things that I would be critical of casting, but, but you can bet this is going to be yeah, one yeah. of them. With with the guy that plays Joffrey, you could do him because he's so hated. Yeah. Out, out of Game of Thrones, like if there's one character that you want to die, it's him. It's him, but mm -hmm. he doesn't. I don't know. Does but he? But everybody, uh, but everybody else does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And he's the Seems one like prick it. to rule them all. Yeah. <laughs> so th this will definitely be something interesting to follow. Exactly. In the next few months. Like I was saying, it is a perfect way to get people into that. And it, and it will sell consoles when it comes down to it. It could, oh, yeah. it could launch other Nintendo series. Yeah. I mean, why not do Star Fox down the line? Or do be. like a, an animated Mario show that's more, you know, kid-based. As long as it's not with that thing. Oh, the woman, the woman from the Mario Brothers movie. I should put in just a frame <laughs> of her picture, like at this oh, very man. moment yep. of the video. Yeah, and I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but I could definitely see like an animated Star Fox for the kids. Like that oh, yeah. would be a great thing. And then you could do Metroid as well. Oh my Metroid god! Metroid movie. Yeah. yeah. Metroid's got to be a movie. I I played that game now, so much. The reason I like TV shows more than movie. TV's where it's at. When you get yeah. down to it, you can movies. You're limited to about two hours. That's about your time frame that you're going to get. A but with shows, you tell an hour. You have long an hour each, yeah, week, each exactly. week. So I'm more for an hour long movie. Hour long TV show. Hour long TV show than a movie, in my opinion. That's that's, a good that's the route I would take with them. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Because that I think that's what gets like the Aragon movie and the uh, Percy Jackson because they don't have enough time. Because you got a lot. I mean, they could have done it better, but there's a lot of stuff you got to fit in to these hour and a half to two hour That's true. Trains. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm not a huge Zelda fan by any means, but I'm excited. It's going to be interesting to see. So I hope that it happens. I, I hope that Nintendo. I, I really think it's going to. 
I hope Nintendo. Nintendo can't afford to just be conservative anymore. They gotta get their sitting on sidelines for way too long. They have more iconic properties than the other. Oh yeah, definitely. Companies, oh, but yeah. they just haven't been using them properly for years. They need to dust them off because the other properties that Microsoft and Sony have are becoming iconic in themselves. So it's time to you know get off your laurels and do something. Yeah. And that's the only way this is going to help, because people binge watch. It's what we do now. Yep. So. So, shout out to Netflix. Bird. So, on behalf of Zach Dykes and Robbie Rawls, this is Derek Diamond saying this has been the first episode, the pilot of uh, Nerd Cave Reacts. So stay tuned Sweet. every Tuesday and listen to the Nerd Cave podcast as well. Yep. Like and subscribe. And comment. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And comment, yes. Uh, Review. Uh, uh. <laughs> Have a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs>